Quilters. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica, AccuQuilts Corporate Marketing Specialist. Welcome to today's launch party. Ooh. I'm really excited about this. It's called the Planting Roots. Today we are launching the Go Tree of Life die. It's a block on board or bob die and it finishes to a beautiful 14 inch block. Quilters, we are head over treetops about this new die. Now the Tree of Life block was popular from the late 1800s to the middle of the 20th century. And it was known by a lot of other names like so many quilt blocks, right. such as the Temperance Tree, Centennial Tree, and the Tree of Paradise. This block is perfect for heritage or keepsake quilting. And we're so excited that it is now available for our quilters to add their, to their collection of AccuQuilt dies. So without further ado, let's take get this lunch party started. All right, let's do it. As always, we planned a lot of fun for you today. Yeah. We've got some delightful prizes, inspiring project ideas, a tremendous trunk show, go. and special deals. Our experts, Jeannie Miller and Marianne Fontana, will be joining us just a little later to help show off our new die. All right, quilters, let's not wait any longer. Here's a look at the new Go Tree of Life die. They say the elusive tree of life can let you live forever if you can find it. We're making that search for immortality a whole lot easier with the Go Tree of Life 14 inch finished die. The things you create with this beautiful die are certain to be handed down through the generations for decades to come. Our newest die arrives just in time for Earth Day and Arbor Day. It includes 17 shapes to help you plant a forest of stunning creations. It also comes with free pattern downloads and block assembly instructions to help inspire you to new creative heights. The Go Tree of Life die comes on a 10 by 24 die board, so it will fit through our Go, Go Big, and Studio Cutter with the appropriate adapter. It's ideal for nature-themed quilts to celebrate any season, and it's a great way to grow those scrap piles into beautiful orchards of color. AccuQuilt makes it easier and faster to accurately cut the shapes you need for all of your creations. And our Go Cutters and Inspirational Dies will continue helping you to cut time so you can quilt more. Okay, quilters, we know you can't wait to get your hands on this die, so we've got bundles available for you. Now to get your order in during the show, use your phone's camera to capture the QR image. It'll take you right to the bundles and the site. And if you don't have access to your QR reader, no worries. Just open up a new tab in your browser. Type in accucool.com slash party to see the bundles and place your order. That way you won't miss a minute of our show because it's going to be great today. It is. Now the first bundle we have is the Go Tree of Life die with a 10 by 24 cutting mat. This bundle is valued at $184, but you can get it today for just $149.99, saving you over $33. It's a great deal. It's a great deal. Up next is our Go Block on Board Favorites 14-inch die bundle. You receive the new Go Tree of Life, the Go Bear's Paw, one of our favorite yes. dies. And wait till you see what we do with that oh with one of our samples. Oh, my word. Uh, the Go Prairie Star, all of those finished to 14 inches. And the two mats, you'll need a 10 by 24 and a 6 by 24 cutting mat. This bundle is valued at $415, but you can add it to your collection today for $329 and some change, saving you over $84. Quilters, you can also take $200 off the Ready, Set, Go or the Go Big using the promo code CUT200 at checkout. The Go Tree of Life die is on a 10 by 24 inch die board, so it will only fit in a Go or a Go Big fabric cutter. If you're new to AccuQuilt and needing a cutter or if you're looking to upgrade from that Go Me fabric cutter, this is a wonderful time to do that. And the Ready, Set, Go Go big, they're great ways to go. So you can use your Go Tree of Life die. And there's more. You'll get yes. free shipping when your order reaches $100 or more if you live in the contiguous US. No code is needed to redeem this offer. So both of our bundles will ship free. That's right. 
but we're also offering this month's Die to Try, the Go Bird and Birdhouse Die Bundles, as well as the Go Goose Tracks Die Bundles at their special introductory pricing. And those, both of those dies are so fun and cute. They really we are. We really had some great um, we like, have. trunk shows with them and shows. Your scrappy goose track to die for. To die for. All right, quilters, if you missed out on these dies, now's the perfect time to add them to your collection at their special pricing before the offer ends at the end of April. Yes. We're more than halfway through April. Oh my gosh. You can also find our, many of our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. Now to find the retailer closest to you, check out the store locator. It's at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. Well, now pay later. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, Pam, I know you've worked on this die quite a bit, so can yes. we take a look at it? Let's do. Um, this actually was one of the dies, before we even created the dies, I tested the pattern, and so I can cut all of these pieces out. Let me tell you, so much better and faster. There's the die. way to appreciate what this die can do for yes. you. Yes. To cut it by hand, quilters. So first of all, um, this has all of the pieces that you need to make that 14 inch block. Fantastic. We'll show you that in just a minute. Um, now quilters, the first thing quilters are gonna always ask us is what, Erica? Can I make that with a cube? And the answer is no. Um, first of all, these half square triangles, they finish to, what did we decide? Two and three quarters or yes, one and a, three quarters or they're, something. They're an unusual mm -hmm. number that doesn't match up. Right. But also we've got pieces that don't exist on dies anywhere. And one of right. those is of course piece G. Right. And that's gonna be part of the base. Now, one right. of the reasons why that is, is because you're not gonna have to sew any Y seams with this right. project, right? And the thing about shape G is you wanna make sure you fan fold your fabric over it yes. because you're gonna need a left and a right. Great tip, that yeah. is a directional yep. die. But great um, rectangles on here. So all of the pieces are screen printed for easy placement mm -hmm. on your, um, to put your fabric on. And we have those quarter inch seam allowance built in and so right here, even on these little specialized dog ears right here, yes, built in, which is great. Now here is our big pro tip. Yeah. Uh, make a sample block. Yes. Okay. And um, I'm gonna show you my sample block. And the thing that you wanna remember, quilters, is to follow the pattern because the sewing instructions, the sewing instructions are crucial. Yes, that's crucial. right. Um, so here is the Tree of Life block. This is the pattern that we're gonna make tomorrow. It's called uh, Tree for All Seasons. Yes. Look, I should have got all my little well, strings we needed there. A, we needed a lint roller. A lint roller, there we go. Um, so this is the section we're gonna show you how to put together. We're gonna mm -hmm. cut all of the pieces for yes. it, but we're gonna show you how to do this little section right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you when you sew it together, like this is one section and this is one section. And so yes. you really have to pay attention and press your seams open, all of them. That's right. Now yep. we are so excited about this die. So we wanna take a closer look at it and let's start that by cutting out one. Yes, let's do, let's cut some pieces here. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it down here. I'll move my water. And we're only gonna do some of the sections, but we're gonna cut all of the fabric, which is always fun. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about some shapes. These are half square triangles. Yes, and there are many on this Many. Side. How many pieces do you remember, Erica, for this block? I believe it's 72, or is 73. it 73? 73. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's that center. And, the thing to remember is those are half square triangles. This is a quarter square triangle. That's right. And you want it, when I cut my pieces, I made sure I took those H's and marked them so oh. that I didn't think, mm -hmm. oh, those are half square triangles, okay? And this is a great block to lay out your first one. If you have yes. a design board that you work with, right. to lay those pieces out, yep. cut out your block, leave it on the die so you can keep track of those pieces, yep. and then go ahead and cut them out so you can really keep track of them. Right, and we're gonna put this here. Now, Pam is being really careful about laying her fabric on the die so that the lengthwise grain, mm -hmm. the tightest grain of the fabric is going parallel to the lengthwise blades. And right. you know what? We know the shapes are on here at an angle. We do, and that way it's gonna go through the cutter perfectly. And you're gonna to wanna to follow those um, instructions on how to subcut your fabric. Yes. Otherwise you're gonna find that you're gonna waste some fabric. Yes. All right, so 
We're gonna use our Go Big today, it fit through our Go, but cut 200, is that what it is to get $200? Yes, off this your ready set Go or use. your Go. Yeah. Go big. Pam and I use our Go Big every single day. Yeah. We're going to get the block out here to take a look at it. Do you want it flat on? Yeah. Maybe this is easy. There you go. Let's put it like this. We always do say to make a test block. That's just a general, right. a general rule. Yeah. All right. So we're going to give it some love and we're going to slide. Don't lift because boy, is it staticky here in the dream studio today. All right. So the thing that you want to do is follow the instructions. We're just going to show you how to lay out part of this little block right down here. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a blue bottom. Yes. And a brown top. Yes. And a brown trunk. Yep. 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 Look at there. There you go. Right Here. there. All right. Now, before we get any... Further, let's show them these cool little half square triangles. Yes. Because when we cut these quilters, they cut off the dog ears. So when you sew them together, they're going to line up perfectly. So you're going to stitch from here to here, that perfect quarter inch seam. Mm -hmm. The pattern tells you how many of the blue and white ones to cut yes. and sew and how. So follow the pattern. So there's our bazillion little half square triangles. Now quilters, you can also download block assembly directions and our famous coloring pages by mm -hmm. going to the item page on the website. Right. Go ahead and go to. Okay, hang on. There we go. There. Um, go to AccuQuilt.com, go to the item page for the Tree of Life die, and down, scroll down, and that's where you're going to find those block assembly directions. There we right. go. And you can print those out. Right. So we're just going to show you this one half. I just want to show you, because in the pattern, it's going to tell you to come right here and sew this pressure mm -hmm. seams open. But this is a directional shape, right? So you're going right. to do back and forth. And you want to really make sure you follow the instructions because it took me a hot minute to make sure that it came together. That's right. But tomorrow on AccuQuilt Live, we're going to actually cut a whole block and sew this section and then some of our half square triangles together. That's right. So you can see how it goes together. And we're going to come back and talk about that a little bit more later. Yeah. It's a great die. All right. So we could talk about the die for a long time, but I think we should introduce our experts oh, and their challenge for today. So... The, we will be back again, like I said, we're going to come back a little later. We're going to talk a little bit more, more about exactly how this block goes together. Right. Now, you've seen this new die in action. Now we're going to introduce you to our experts. We've challenged both of them to create projects using the new Go Tree of Life die. First up, we have Jeannie Miller. Now, Jeannie has used and sold AccuQuilt products at quilt shows and retreats since 2008. As soon as she was old enough to operate a sewing machine solo, she began her lifelong hobbies of sewing, embroidering, and quilting. Jeannie is an active member of several quilting guilds and is the chair chapter of the Treasure Coast chapter of the Florida Sewing Sew Society. Next, we have Marianne Fontana. Marianne is a self-taught sewist, quilter, and textile artist. She teaches AccuQuilt Club classes at her local quilt shop, and she's a Quilts of Valor member, volunteering her skills to design patterns and to finish quilts on her long arm. Now a full-time quilter, artist, and author, Marianne spends her time designing quilts and utilizing the AccuQuilt cutting system as part of her creative process. And our experts today are so clever. Oh, wait till you see what they've come so up clever. with. So I am excited to share all of their tremendous ideas that there they always come up with. But first, I think we should give away a Go Tree of Life die to a lucky viewer who registered for today's show. Oh, I love that idea. Our giveaways are just one way we like to treat our quilters for being part of the AccuQuilt family. We're full family. of the tree. Yeah, 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 all yeah, day we're long. We're full of the tree quotes today. All right. Today's lucky winner of a Go Tree of Life die is, drum roll please, Ann B. of O'Fallon, Missouri. Congratulations, Ann. You're going to love this. Now, quilters, if you're just tuning into today's show, we have Go Tree of Life die bundles available for you. Be sure to get your hands on this new die while it's still available and ready to sprout to your door. 
And we have that promo code CUT200, which will take $200 off the Ready, Set, Go and the Go Big Fabric Cutter. This is the cutter we use every single day, bird not included. Not included. Uh, fantastic value. Be sure to take advantage of the offer. Yesterday, Erica, I used my Go Big and cut 516 quarter square triangles in less than an hour. Amazing. Yeah. Fabulous. All right. You'll also get free shipping when your order reaches $100 or more. So that's either of our bundles yes. today. Or if you live in the contiguous U.S. No code is needed to redeem that offer. And those are the Tree of Life bundles. Yes. Today. Yes. All right, quilters, it's time to check out what our first expert has come up with. Jeannie, what inspiration do you have for us today using the Go Tree of Life die? Hi, ladies. I was very excited to see this die added to the Bob collection because it's a tree. And you know, I love trees because I love to go camping in the woods all the time. So it was very exciting to see this one added. So the first thing I did when I got the die was I made a test block because there are a lot of different units to this particular block and they sew together a little bit differently. And it's a very easy block to sew together. And over here, you can see my test block. I just used two colors because I just wanted to see how everything was going to go together and fit together. So after I made my test block, I opened up my EQ8 and I put the block into a quilt top and I played around with it. And you can see this design for this quilt is just set square or straight. And it's really nice because you get a, a secondary pattern when you do this, you even get a sort of center star there to go with it. And I saw that there were many different ways that you could use this block set straight. But then next I tried to do it with uh, setting it on point. And there's all sorts of different uh, quilt tops that you can make setting the tree of life on uh, point. I took that on point and then I added it with another bob die. So this is the Lemoyne Star. It's only a nine inch finish block, but I was able to just take and put some setting strips around it so that it was also a 14 inch finished block. And then I combined it with the other blocks from the Tree of Life that I'd set on point. And then last, I just had the tree by itself more like a center medallion. And you can see that I had to set this on point. So that shouldn't be a problem because, you know, AccuQuilt has all of these great setting triangles dies. But guess what? They don't have any for 14 inch. But I was able to get a workaround for this particular problem. So let's take a look at what I was able to do. So I started measuring some of my setting um, triangles dies and of course we don't have one for 14 inches finished but I found that on the 10 inch um, setting triangles that we need a corner piece but if we use the uh, side setting triangles that this does measure the 14 inches but we have to be careful how we lay our fabric on there because we want the most stable part of the fabric after we're done cutting to be these two edges because those are going to become the outside corners of our block. So I measured this and I cut my fabric out at 11 and a half inches and then I put my fabric. You could have your two layers there and just cut it with the fabric and go ahead and send it through your cutter and it's going to cut out your triangle. But your because this is the width, the length of fabric, it's going to have less of a pull there than this end. So you just have to be careful when you're setting that in, sewing it onto your triangle, but then your outside edges are going to be really nice and, and uh, stable. And I found that if I just flipped my fabric over and cut another two out, I would have hardly any waste in this at all as I was cutting. So I could get quite a few uh, setting triangles out of that one with the fabric. So I took my four different triangles that I had cut with my 10 inch setting triangles die and this part of that triangle was 14 and a half inches 
and I was able to very easily sew it on to the four sides of my block to set it on point. And I can't wait for you to see my challenge item, which of course I had to use the setting triangles in. Okay, never in my quilting head, never would I have thought how Let's smart Let's measure the 10 inch setting triangles yes. and see how big they are. Right. Well, don't worry. We are going to show you how Jeannie cut and used those 10 inch setting triangles that she used in just a little bit. All right, quilters, if you want more inspiration like what you see on our show, there are three new blogs posted each and every week. They've got innovative ways to use the dies you already own and maybe just inspire you to purchase a few more. Tomorrow's post is all about the Go Tree of Life die. Discover everything we mentioned and more when you subscribe to the AccuQuilt blog. Okay, time to check in with our second expert, don't you think? I think so. All right, Marianne, what inspiration do you have for us using the Go Tree of Life die? Well, Pam and Erica, I have just been planting seeds everywhere and they are sprouting. Uh, this Tree of Life is really cool. I know I like every die. My favorite die is the one we're working on at the time. Uh, the first thing I like to do is make a sample, make a block, and focus on color theory and how this tree of life can really be made into a lot of really cool different blocks and ideas. The first thing I did is make the block. It finishes at 14 inches. And color really will change the way this block works. But anyway, so I made one so I can kind of get a sense how the pieces go together. And let me just put this up here. Okay. And one thing I like to do when I'm doing color, especially when I'm starting and moving up, the first thing I will do it seems kind of oxymoronic, but I take the color out. I want to see how the shapes look without color to cloud the issue. So here it is, uh, the tree on a white background, the tree on a black background. And I just put simply four tree of life uh, on point uh, as it's shown uh, in the pictures. I then took them, twisted them a little and changed the color. So, okay, black and white, I have a sense how it's working. Then I started to go in and I changed colors. So first I did is I did blue. I take the one, all of the bases are pointing in with blue segments on a white background. And then I add it to the end. So this is actually the four patch and then a tree on either side. So it's kind of like a large table runner. And I said, oh, that's really kind of cool. I like that. That's coming out pretty neat. And then I added just a series of color. And this one I was calling the Tree of Life Kaleidoscope Bleeds because I love to play with all different colors. And then this last one, I don't know how well you can see it, but I made it into an apple tree and I put apples in the quilt. I did a few other blocks. I like that apple tree idea so well. I decided to draw it out. Can you, and you can see, and obviously I put it on point. But if you change the color of the red to orange, you get an orange tree and growing oranges. And if you put little circles on it, it will look like oranges. And I said, oh, well, this is kind of cool. Now, the first thing I saw when I looked at it was a bill. And when you mean a bill, not a bill that you pay a doctor, but a duck bill or something like that. I said, that's kind of cool. So I blacked out two pieces and I said, well, wait a minute. I bet from the tree of life, I can sprout other animals. So let me go back to the drawing board and let me show you what I came up with for my challenge piece. Okay, she comes up with such a creative view of things, right. but I love how she, she works with the colorway and she's right. right. If you start with the colorway and literally take the color out right. and build off of that. So quilters, be sure to check out our free Go Quilt tool on AccuQuilt.com to change the colorways of our patterns with solid colors and fabric collections from our sponsors. Yes, so many. We have thousands of patterns available for you to play around with and help you be creative with the dies. So let's take a little bit more in-depth look at Go Quilt.
Okay, I love Go Quilt. You and I talk about this all the time. I use it almost every time I get to a project. Yes. Almost yes. every single time, and I think it's great. But it should come with a warning because it is so fun to use that it's hard to stop using it once yes, you get kind of good. And all of the new patterns for today's projects are already loaded to Go Quilt. That's right. All right, quilters, we're gonna ask you to vote on your favorite final expert project just a little bit later. So be sure to stick around for their final project reveals. I think they're gonna be great. Yes. And if you're not already, make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms. We have three that you can follow us on. That's right. We love to share your stories, quilts, and more. We also share behind the scenes videos of us on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, they're super fun. They are. They are. All right, and you don't want to miss out on them. We have such antics. And the best part is you get to see the Dream Studio other than what yes. you see here, which is kind of fun. That's right. Okay, so while our challengers get busy, I think we should show you a little bit more about the basics of how the Go Tree of Life goes together. Yes. Let's do that. Okay, now remember, there are 73 pieces. We counted them three times to make sure. <laughs> um, but you want to make sure that you lay out your pieces the right way. So this is the section that comes down here, mm -hmm. okay? And then you're gonna add a big long section to it. So tomorrow we'll show you, here, first of all, let me hold it up. Oh, okay. yes, hold Let's that see. up. Let's hold this go nice look at it. Block. So look at how nice and big that is. And look, kind of my shirt matches. Oh, yes. So a nice big 14 inch block. I think that sometimes I like to think of this as like a medallion style yes. block. But I do like the look of them together too. Yes. Okay, so now that we've shown you there. So this is the section down here. And again, you're gonna follow the pattern on how to put it together. Yes. Now this section is one section. And then this big row right here is the top. Oh, that's fabulous. Yes, right? And then tomorrow, <laughs> when we sew our block together, yes. we're gonna create this row. Okay. Because I think it's really important to show how you can just totally chain piece mm -hmm. all of these half square all triangles. All of these half square triangles, right. yep. Make sure you're pressing your seams open, following yes. the pattern. And I did indeed lay out a block, right? Yes. And then you can put your trunk section Right, right just like here. we showed you mm -hmm. earlier on yeah. how to put that together. And this, you've got mirror images with right. these two pieces. Right, so this is actually how the instructions tell you to sew the block together. Right. So make this section, make this section sew together because you're gonna add this little piece down here, yep. the top, and then sew this last row together and then add that little white strip. And I'm gonna tell you, um, the pattern tells you to do four I did one at a time <laughs> because what I found was if I was, even though they're different colors, right. you know, I found that I was still struggling to which way did they go and such, but there is so much chain piecing in this that it goes together yeah. pretty easily. And if you did four at a time, that'd be so much pressing. So all much pressing. Time. Yes. No one should I like press to spread out my pressing. I, yeah. Especially if I'm pressing my seams open and I did use my little shovel iron and then for the big pieces, I used my big pressing iron. Perfect. Okay, Perfect. there we go. All right, quilters, we have bundles. We have the Tree of Life bundles available for you today. Be sure to get your hands on this new die while it's available and it's ready to ship. That's right. And don't forget, we've also got the promo code CUT200, which will take $200 off the Ready, Set, Go and the Go Big Fabric Cutter. Now, the Ready, Set, Go is going to come with what you see there. It's got the 8-inch cube, yes. the 2.5-inch strip die and mat, the Go Cube book, and of course, a die pick. This is a fantastic value, so be sure to take advantage of it. And we have lots of videos on how to oh, use right. those cubes and to use our Ready, Set, Go. So make sure if you're kind of new to AccuQuilt or just kind of checking them out, that's what you want to do. That's right. And you taught a great class last Thursday. So the yes. video on that is a must-see for everybody about the cubes. All the cubes. And you'll receive free shipping when your order reaches $100 or more if you live in the contiguous U.S. No code is needed to redeem the offer. So both the bundles and both the cutters and the Ready, Set, Go and the Go Big yep. will ship free if you live in the contiguous there U.S. There you go. Get them all. Okay. Quilters, our good friends at Robert Kaufman Fabrics are helping us make this an intriguing launch party by providing us with two lovely bundles of fabric for us to give away. Now, this fabric is so special, it is still on the way. It is. Our good friends at Robert Kaufman have sent it. Erica and I did not take it. We didn't take it. We thought maybe it's people on would its think way. It. Yep. 
So we're going to give away two bundles of this beautiful fabric book. Look how pretty Robert that Hoffman. is. Mm -hmm. uh, the first winner of a fabric bundle is, drum roll please. Susan R. from Spencer, Indiana. Congratulations. Congratulations. Susan. You know, I see some browns that would work really well for I'm trunks. Just truly, <laughs> truly thinking the same mm. thing. Okay, the second bundle winner is, drum roll please. Lila B. from Taylor, Michigan. Congratulations. Congratulations to both our winners. A huge shout out to Robert Kaufman Fabrics for sponsoring today's show. We know our quilters will love using this fabric to make their quilts. I loved the blues and the browns. Yes. And the, oh, it's so pretty. A great color combination. Now quilters, this year, 2022, is all about covering the world one quilt at a time. This is a collaborative campaign between AccuQuilt and Moda Fabrics with Baby Lock as our sponsor. Together, one person from our teams is donating a quilt each week of 2022 to a charity of their choice. Now, last week's donation was made by Moda team member Barbara Groves from Me and My Sister Designs. Barbara designed her quilt with the Frenzy quilt pattern available for free on meandmysistersdesign.com. She used Moda Fabrics, not just for grunge, to make it. And Barbara donated her quilt to the Ronald McDonald House, which is a nonprofit organization that provides housing and meals for families with children receiving medical care far from home. To learn more about the Ronald McDonald House, you can visit RMHC. Dot org. And look at the bright, beautiful colors of that quilt. I was just thinking the same thing, just really happy. Yes, just it a is. a happy quilt. Yes, and AccuQuilt is, was a big sponsor last year of Ronald McDonald House. So it yes. was a great, it's a great organization. It is. So be sure to visit our website for details on how you can participate in covering the world one quilt at a time by going to learn.accuquilt.com slash quiltheworld2022. You can also follow the hashtag, hashtag QuiltTheWorld2022 on social media to see fellow quilters' donations during the year. There have been such beautiful quilts. Such this beautiful whole... quilts and such amazing organizations know, they've just, been donated to. It just gives me chills. Thank you. All right, quilters, let's reveal today's final project. So I wonder what our experts have come up with. Jeannie, what do you have for us? Hi, quilters. Here's my challenge piece, as promised. And of course, I did it on point, and I made this wonderful table runner, or you could also use it as a bed runner because it's pretty big. It's uh, 60 inches long. And I used the Tree of Life, and I made it scrappy, and I have a lot of different fabrics in here that were just joyful and seemed like to speak spring to me. And then I also included here in the center some uh, of the Rose of Sharon, and I used dye one and two of the Rose of Sharon, and I made this wonderful, uh, happy springtime table runner. I hope you like my challenge piece. Oh, that's really fun. That is so fun for spring. It is. I like the idea of a bed runner. I don't have one in my bed, do you? I don't either, but I do like that idea. I always think and I need a new bedspread then. Right. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Just get white. Just there get a go. plain white one. But then Pearl's fur. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't but know. I do love that table runner look. And mm -hmm. I love how she used the Rose of Sharon. That is mm -hmm. such a versatile, great um, applique dye. Yeah, perfect for spring. All right, Marianne, what did you create? Okay, so I'm back. And I'd like you to meet Chuck and Henrietta. That is, uh, Chuck is my duck. And Henrietta's my chicken, and I've made them both from the Tree of Life, and I have not changed the location of any of the pieces. I did use a few squares, also cut from the die, to replace two of the triangles in a few key spots just to save me from sewing a little. But otherwise, they're exactly the Tree of Life as you see it on point. And I realized also that I had the 10 inch finished setting triangles and that I could actually use the 10 inch piece as setting triangles to finish the quilt. So I hope you like my challenge piece from the Tree of Life and that is Chuck and Henrietta. Okay, okay. Chuck the duck and, and Henrietta. Henrietta the hen. Um, I should make Henrietta for my neighbor, Chicken Brian. Yes. 
because that's yes, hilarious. She needs Henrietta. And she did that same magic trick yes, that Jeannie did. She did. They are so clever. This is a hard choice, Quilters. Oh, it is. All right, Quilters, voting is now open, so let us know which expert project was your favorite. If you're watching via the registration link or on YouTube, you can click the vote box that's below or to the right of the chat box. And if you're watching via Facebook, vote on the box that displays over the video. There we go. All right, we are all having so much fun working with the Tree of Life die that we thought we might share some ideas of other dies that work really well with it, starting with a couple of our favorite bobs that just happened to finish at 14 inches as well. I love it. So this is part of the bundle. This is that beautiful bear's paw. Yes. And I want you to know, when this die came out, I was like, oh, now it all makes sense, right? Because right. the, the rectangles were always kind of hard to cut by hand, and you know, you could get the squares and the half score triangles but I love it that it finishes to 14 inches yes. and you saw just the other day a beautiful bear spot in red and white that's yes. typically the color it comes somewhere in. in a box in my new house yes okay and then this is the go prairie star die this is one of our favorites this is oh, such a stunning block so and talk great. about colorway there are so many different ways that you can work with this block with colorway and wait till you see the sample that we have coming up that marries the bear's paw and the prairie star. Right. And then we're gonna talk about adding in our go tree of life. Right, and this was a different colorway to make it look like snowflakes in the winter time. And I just love it this way. But Bia Lee made the most beautiful Aloha stars that have eight very, very- Variegated. There we go, mm -hmm. that's the word. Um, colors that was absolutely stunning. Yes, and it's like a swirl. And you would think that this is kind of hard to put together. The answer is no, not really, because you're just making nine patches. Quarter inch seams, it's all about yep. quarter inch seams. Yep. All right, and both of these um, blocks finish to 14 inches in your quilt, just mm -hmm. like the Go Tree of Life. That's right. So think of ways to combine the dies, change up colors and block directions. So as we've been talking about this today, I thought it would be really fun to like create snowflakes and then winter trees. Oh. Or you oh, could yes. take the prairie star and change up the colorway so it looked like sun. Yes. And then you could do like spring, spring colors spring. on your trees. And summer colors. And Sometimes we think of stuff while we stand here. And as much as I love the bear's paw like this, wait till you see how we use it coming up in the trunk show. You're not gonna Okay, we this. didn't use it, Amanda. Amanda Harbour did and, and she's, she's a genius. She's brilliant. Now, a great way to look at these is also to take them and set them on point, yep, right? Move them here. Because you get a totally different look. Right. Now remember, Jeannie was showing us the 10 inch setting triangles and what she did with those. Well, Pam and I were blown away by that. So we decided we all needed to take a closer look. Okay, so let's talk about setting triangles for a second. Um, we have five different, oh, I'll turn that right off. Oh. Five different setting triangles. Um, they come five, six, eight, nine, 10, and 12. Yes. So basically they match the sizes of the cubes. And the setting triangles allows you to put block on point, but it's all about the lengthwise green, yes. right, Erica? Because right. that's what it is. So these are the side setting triangles. And mm -hmm. so that lengthwise green is gonna be lined up parallel to that blade so that right. you have a good, strong outside edge of your quilt. Right. This is the corner. corner. And again, right. you're gonna get, this way, you're gonna get your strongest edge. Right. Well, our experts are so smart. Because we don't have a 14 inch setting triangle. That's right. Okay, so, so the let's trick, show you how we're gonna do this. The trick that Jeannie showed us was how to change the orientation of your fabric so that you can use this as a quarter square, not, not as a corner square, well, a side a square, side square you, as a quarter square. Corner square. Yes. <laughs> I keep saying quarter instead of corner. Yes. That's my problem. So we've left the selvage on so you can see. So instead of lining the selvage up this way, we're now lining it up parallel to our outer blade out here. Right. And we're going to cut to, and then we're going to show you that flip trick. Right. So what we did was we measured um, we 11 did. and a half inches to add a quarter of an inch on either side. Now, everybody is going to be all stressed about this fabric, Erica. There is no blades in your cutter, only rollers. There's only blades in the die. So this is a nice one. What you don't want to do is put your fabric oh, on Oh, that is correct. 
as it goes this, through the cutter. This could be a problem. And I think yeah. you want to put this end in yes, first. I'm going to. And that will make it easier. And this is definitely easiest with a go big because you've got that extra room. The go big is our biggest fabric cutter. It's got a 14 inch opening. So that gives you that extra room for those fabric pieces on the side. Um, without giving away any trade secrets, what did you cut last on your go big? Um, I am working on our temperature quilt. Pam and I are making temperature oh, yes. quilts. And so I was cutting small half square triangles for days. Yes. And I didn't have to give up any trade secrets because I'm not gonna start cutting test dies until this afternoon. Oh, uh, there. Uh -huh. There you go. Okay, so look at this. All right, so now here's our first set of okay. sides. Now we're gonna show you this trick, right? We're gonna right. flip it. Is that how it's gonna work, Erica? It's gonna work there we go. this way. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut it. There we go. This way. Now, see, we didn't do this right. We needed to cut that differently. Here, hold on. Well, we're going to cut one. So, see, this is why we should have practiced. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We cut two. We'll figure it out. Jeannie cut, she flipped. Do you know, we'll she cut had wider out. fabric. She did we? have wider fabric. And tomorrow, I'll show them how to do it on AQ Live. Okay. Okay. So, we cut two. But you definitely could get another one out of there. Yes, you could. So now we've gotten the outside edge This is now stabilized. So what we mean by that is it's tight, it's tight, and this is what we mean by loose. Stretch. Look at the stretch on that bias. Look at all of that. So here we go. Look how well that fits. It's amazing. I, like you said, in my I quilting never, head, I never would have figured that out. I would never would have thought, let's see, where can we find a 10 in, or 14 inch? I, I yes. So okay. this, so what, look how well the dark then sets off your tree block. I really like that look. Mm -hmm. And I love how it, now it makes it so much bigger, right? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, it's beautiful. All right, so that's how we'll do setting triangles tomorrow. We'll show you how to flip them and turn them. That's right. All that's right. right, so make sure that you're um, following those instructions right. We're just gonna make right. sure we have that outside grain. Right, and we're just gonna take that, it makes it a square. Yeah. So she measured that. It was fantastic. Yeah. Jeannie, kudos. Kudos to you. All right, so quilters, don't be afraid to think outside the box. Think about different ways to use your dies, experiment, and have fun with it. You know, the great thing about bob dies is you don't have to use all of the shapes. Like, this right. one has so many half square triangles or rectangles that you could use or quarter square triangles for other projects. That's right. Now, I have been sorting fabric at my house, and I yes. know that there is some of it that is old that is not my favorite anymore. That is great. Don't get rid of that fabric. Use it to experiment with. Have yeah. fun. Try out wild ideas. Maybe they'll work. Maybe they won't. Go ahead. Give them a try. Yeah, it'll be great. All right. Now, while we wait on votes to come in, let's make our way to today's tree trunk show. Oh, excellent. The first one we've got is the Go Tree for All Seasons Throw Quilt. This one is made by Bea Lee of Be a Quilter. Yep. And look, this is so fun. Now, this is the, the tree we showed you here. It is on point. The free pattern is downloadable. I love how she's put very geometric quilting on the background of that. Right. And this is the project that's on the packaging. So when you go to the Tree of Life video, this is the project Eric and I make, and yes. this is the project we're gonna make tomorrow. Perfect. And I wanna show the quilting, this background is solid, or the backing is solid, but look at that geometric shape. I like that a lot. Me too. I just think that's so pretty. So good job, Bia. Okay, now next up, as promised, is the Towering Timbers Pillow. Oh. This is by the one and only Amanda Harward of Larkspur Quilts using Timeless Treasures fabric. And we looked at this and they said, well, it's made with the bear's paw. And I said, no, it's not. We had a huge discussion about it. We had a huge it. discussion. It was a thing. It was a whole thing. So okay. we have to show you how this hold is done. Hold the pillow and I'll I'm going to hold the pillow. Down. Okay, so here is your bear's paw block. So sew so right. together, it's going to make 14 inches, right? right. Here it is. So what Amanda did, because she is brilliant, she cut it in half like this, mm -hmm. and then cut it in half again. So it cut it in quarters. Corner to corner. Corner to corner. And this is that piece. Look at that. Ta-da. Look at that. Now, I know what you're saying. Now we've got our bias on the outside. And you're right, she right. does. But she corrected that by using a strip die. Right here, tiny right little there. one so inch So she finish. used the one and Probably. a half inch 
one inch finish strip die and it's gonna just finish that off. It's gonna stabilize that outer yep. edge for you. Man. Amanda, How smart. never in my quilting head would I have thought of that. So smart. So smart. So anyway, that's this fun that little is, uh, pillow. All right, I'll come back here. Okay. All right, so this is the Celtic uh, Blessing Throw Quilt. Our good friend Judy at the Celtic Quilter would love this. So this is by, a I don't know, who made this? Anita made this. Yes, this is by Anita Amador. And Anita um, did the exact same thing with that 14 inch uh, side triangle. She did. And turned it on point. And then Erica, what is this block? This is our Lemoyne star. And this yeah. is so clever because what she did, you know, the Lemoyne star doesn't finish at 14 nope. inches, right? Nope. But she added sashing around yep. just the Lemoyne star so that she could use it as that center medallion. And isn't that pretty? It and then so look, pretty. first of all, she used flange binding, kudos Anita, my favorite kind of yes. binding. And then look at this quilting on the back. It's the Celtic knot it that is she the used knot. in the quilting. I absolutely love that. Ta-da. So if you're seeing that flange binding, that gives you just that little peekaboo of another fabric underneath yes. there. And you use two dies and yes. Those are the one and a half inch strip die and which one? One and three quarters. One and three quarters. Custom. Yep. And we have a video on how to make We do. Fighting. We do. Imagine that. Imagine that we made a video. Okay, so here is the amazing Technicolor Tree of Life. This Look is the this. Pro quilt. This is by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. She used Andover fabric and she used our 10 inch cube with it. Yes. So here we've got 10 inch uh, we've got the shape number one, the big square and the big half square from that cube. Listen, isn't that Quarter so square. pretty? Yeah, and so it looks so great because it meets in the middle. Yes. Right? And I it just- gives you such a totally different look, doesn't it? Oh yeah, very much so. Just totally different. And she popped out these two trunks with that extra color. Whereas these, she just used the same brown. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And the back is again solid, but look at this quilting on it. It's so great pretty. job, Marianne. Again, these Love are all that. free patterns on our website. Now, it wouldn't be right if we didn't throw a little love to our other oh, dies. Yeah. And this is made with our Bear's Paw die. This is the Go Bear's Tracks Table Runner pattern. But this has taken those pieces from the Bear's mm -hmm. Paw and turn them around and use them a little bit differently in the layout. I love that. And truly it does look like bear tracks now. It does. You've moved it around. And I love the classic red and white with it and a total weekend project. Absolutely. I mean, quilters, if you're looking for something for next winter, start today, right? So it'll finish. Absolutely. <laughs> and then here's the back is these beautiful, it looks like little snowflakes. I need some of this quilt fabric. Okay, so this last quilt is a stunner. Oh, this is Mitzi the Go Prairie Sunrise pattern by Mitzi Red, and this is just a showstopper. So here we've got our Prairie Star, right? Remember, right. finishes at 14 inches. Here's our Bear's Paw that finishes at 14 inches. Isn't that amazing? And right. then we could think about taking our Tree of Life, put it there in the putting middle, putting it right there in the middle. Of that nine patch. Of that nine patch. How fun oh is that as a change up for it? So many things you can do with it. The, the design with the straight line quilting and this tight stippling really pulls out the design from the blocks. I love it. And it's got an ombre, an ombre border. fabric. Isn't that amazing? Gosh. I mm. love everything it is about yummy. this. Yes. I love everything and about look this. Look at the back. You can really see that quilting and how it defines the design. Look at that. Our, uh, listen, our designers did such a great job with their projects. For they this. really did. All of these patterns are available. They're free downloads on AccuQuilt's website. So be sure you get your patterns downloaded before your die arrives so you'll be ready to go. All right, Quilters Voting is now closed and we're about to announce today's expert winners, a winner, but first we're gonna give away our final prize of the day. So this is a winner too. It is. Let's say thank you to our Quilters one more time today with a die. The lucky winner of a Go Tree of Life die is, drum roll please, Nancy M. of Fredericksburg, Texas. Congratulations. Congratulations. Nancy. You're going to love it. 73 pieces in a block. You can do it. 
Quilters, be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. Tomorrow, we're going to use the Go Tree of Life die. We're going to finish putting our block together. Yes. We're going to show you how easy it is to chain piece. Be sure to register for the show on our events page to be entered to win an exciting door prize. We always have tons of fun, and I hope to see you there. That's right. And for those of you who are lucky enough to be going to Paducah, Kentucky for the AQS Quilt Show like next Pam. week. I, like Pam and Joe, we're headed there. I'll be in the Quilt and a Day booth on Thursday, April 28th at 11 a.m. I'm just there for an hour. Be sure to come by and say hi. We can take some selfies. It'll be fun. Oh, yes. All right, quilters, the time has come. The team has counted all of your votes, and it is time to announce today's expert winner. Is it going to be Jeannie with her spring trees and flowers? So pretty. So pretty. Or will it be Marianne with Chuck and Henrietta? You voted and decided our winner is, drum roll please. Jeannie, congratulations. Yay, congratulations. That's so fun. That's so fun. Oh. I love that it's scrappy, it's so fun. And Chuck and Henrietta were so Chuck darling. and Henrietta are super fun. It's just great. You've got to find a place for to them in your house. Marianne and Jeannie, they did a great job. They did. All right, Quilters, now listen, we have an extra show for you this week. Friday, April 22nd at 12 noon Central Time, join us for a new event called Celebrate Success. We're gonna share fun ideas and easy gift project ideas for grads in your life. Graduating from high school, graduating from college. You don't wanna miss it, we have some great ideas. I cut out a project for this show yesterday too. I did as well. <laughs> now that I now that we that. think about it. Now, quilters, be sure to register for all of our upcoming live shows, including AccuQuilt Live on Wednesdays, because we are drawing winners for our Spring Into Quilting Sweepstakes. That's right. During each Tuesday event, we're announcing a weekly winner of $100 in AccuQuilt reward points from our list of registrants. And the Sweepstakes Grand Prize winner gets Five hundred dollars in AccuQuilt rewards points, and that will be announced at next Tuesday's event on April twenty-sixth. What's amazing is it's almost the end of April. I know. I don't know how that happened. All right. For each live event you register for, you receive one entry into the grand prize drawing. So take advantage by registering for all of our upcoming shows. That's right. Now this week's winner of one hundred dollars in AccuQuilt reward point is drum roll, please. Megan M. from New Mines, Nova Scotia, Canada. Congratulations. Ooh, I bet it's cold in Nova Scotia today. I bet it is. <laughs> All right, quilters, don't forget we have bundles ready for you to get your order in during the show. Use your phone's camera to capture the QR image and it will take you directly to the site. If you don't have a QR reader, just open a new tab in your browser. Type in accuquilt.com slash party to see the bundles and place your order. The first bundle we have is the Go Tree of Life die with a 10 by 24 cutting mat. This bundle is valued at $184. You can get it today for $149 and some change, saving you over $33. Our next bundle is the Go Block on Board Favorites 14 inch die bundle. We, you will get the Go Tree of Life, of course, 14 inch finished, and those two other great dies we talked about today, the Go Bear's Paw and the Go Prairie Star. So beautiful. Plus the mats that you need, one is 10 by 24 and one is six by 24. This bundle is valued at $415, but you can add it to your collection today for just $329.99, saving you over $84. And quilters, you can take $200 off the Ready, Set, Go, and the Go Big Fabric Cutter using that promo code CUT200 at checkout. Be sure to take advantage of this great deal. So don't forget, um, this is the cutter we use every single day. The Go Big every single day. If you're every just day. getting started, great value in the Ready, Set, Go. You can't go wrong with either choice. Yep. Plus, you're going to get free shipping when your order reaches over $100 or more if you live in the contiguous U.S. No code is needed to redeem that offer at checkout. So don't forget to sign up for text messages, too. You can visit AccuQuilt.com SMS. You'll get exclusive offers that you will not want to miss out on. Great. I get those little texts. Yep. They have little special yep. codes in them. You can also find our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer to find the retailer closest to you. We have a store locator at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. And remember, you can quilt now and pay later. Get your financing today at AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, it's time for us to sew. I'm going to go home and finish making sure we have step outs for tomorrow and for Friday's show. What are you sewing today? I am testing some new dolls. Oh, yes. Wait till you see. Wait till you see. Okay. 
All right, thank you so much for joining us today. If you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, well, now's the time and here's the link. Get everything you need before it sells out. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. See you Friday. Bye-bye.